Alright YouTubers, we're back and we're ready to do our next set of Bible reading. This is still um, January 18, 2015, which we're doing this video. And we're going to do right now, we're going to do January 13th now, the January 13th readings. And we're going to do um, Genesis, the 36th chapter. And we're going to do First Chronicles. The first chapter, verses 35 through 54, and then we're going to do First Chronicles, the second chapter, verses 1 through 2. It's going to be a really quick uh, um, reading for January 13th, so let's pray. Father God, thank you for allowing us to get into this word on today. Give us the guidance to hear your word and give us the guidance to understand your word. Let us live by your word on a daily basis and let us meditate in your word. And let us hear your word. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go forth into these scriptures, let us hear your will. And let us meditate on your will. And we pray this prayer now it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. January 13th. Now we're going to read about the descendants of Esau. Sort of his genealogy, if you will. The descendants of Esau. And this is in Genesis, the 36th chapter, verses 1 through 19. Now, this is the genealogy of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives from the daughters of Canaan, Ada, his daughter of Elon, the Hittite, Ahogabama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zebion, the Hivite, and Basimath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nabajoth. Now, Ada bore Eliphaz, Take Esau and Basimath bore Ruel, and Aholibama bore Jeus, Jalam, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Then Esau, then Esau took his wives, his sons, and his daughters, and all, and all the persons, and all the persons of his household, and all the persons of his household, his cattle. His cattle and and all his animals and all his animals and and all his goods and all his goods which he had which he had gained in the land of Egypt and went and went to a country away from the presence of his brother Jacob for their possessions for their possessions were too great for them to dwell together and the land and the land where they where they were strangers could not support could not support them because of their livestock. So Esau, so Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, and this is their and this is the genealogy of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. These were the names of Esau's sons: Eliphaz, the son of Ada, the wife of Esau. And Ruel, the son of Basemath, the wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Timon, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenez. Now Timnah was the concubine of Eliphaz, Esau's son, and she bore Amalek to Eliphaz. These were these were the sons, these were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. These were the sons, these were the sons of Ruel, Nahab, Zerah, Shammah, and Misa. These were the sons of Basemath, Esau's wife. These were the sons of Aholibama, Esau's wife, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zebion, and she bore to Esau, Jeus, Jalam, and Korah. These were their chiefs of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, were chief Taman. Chief Omar, Chief Zepho, Chief Kanaz, Chief Korah, Chief Gatam, and Chief Amalek. These were the chiefs of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. They were the sons of Ada. These were the sons of Ruel, Esau's sons, Chief Naaf, Chief Zerah, Chief Shama, and Chief Mizza. These were the chiefs of Ruel in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Basimath, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholibamah, Esau's wife, Chief Jeus, Chief Jalam, 
and Chief Cora. These were the chiefs who descended from Ahogabama, Esau's wife, the daughter of Anna. These were the sons, these were the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these were their chiefs. First Chronicles of first chapter verses thirty five to thirty seven. First Chronicles of first chapter verses thirty five to thirty seven. The sons of Esau, the sons of Esau were Eliphaz, Ruel, Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. And the sons and the sons of Eliphaz were Taman, Omar, Zephi, Gatam, and Canaz. And by Timnah, Amalek, the sons of Ruel were Nahath, Zerah, and Shammah, and Mizah. Original peoples, original peoples of Edom, Genesis the thirty sixth chapter verses twenty to thirty. Original peoples of Edom, Genesis the thirty sixth chapter verses twenty to thirty. These were the sons these were the sons of Sierra, the Horite, who inhabited who inhabited the land, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ether, and Dishan. These were the chiefs these were the chiefs of the Horites, the sons of Seir in the land of Edom. And the sons and the sons of Lotan were Hori and Hema. Lotan's sister was Timna. These were the sons these were the sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. These were the sons of Zebion, both Aja and Ana. These this was the Ana who found the water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zebuan. These were the children of Ana, Dishan, and Aholibama, the daughter of Ana. These were the sons of Dishan, Hemdan, Ishban, Ithran, and Sharan. These were the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zavan, and Achan. These were the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These were the chiefs of the Horvites, Chief Lotan, Chief Shobal, Chief Zebuan, Zebion, Chief Ana, Chief Dishan, Chief Ether, and Chief Dishan. These were the chiefs of the Horvites, according to the, their chiefs in the land of Seir. Okay, now First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 38 through 42. Y'all can pause the video in, if y'all want to in order to get to the scripture. And here we go with the reading. The sons of Seir were Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. And the sons of Lotan were Hori and Homem. Lotan's sister was Timna. The sons of Shobal were Elian, Menahath, Ebal, Shephi, and Onam. The sons of Zebion were Aja and Ana. The sons of Ana were Dishan. The sons of Dishan were Hamram, Ishban, Ithran, and Sharan. The sons of Ezer were Bilhan, Zavan, and Jachan. The sons of Dishan were Uz and Aran. Okay, now we're into the rulers of Edom. The rulers of Edom. Genesis, the 36th chapter, verses 31 through 43. The rulers of Edom. Genesis, the 36th chapter, verses 31 through 43. Now these were the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Beer, reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Denhaba. And when Bela died, Jobab, the son of Zerah, of Basra, reigned in his place. When Jobab died, Jobab died, Hushem of the land of the Temanites reigned in his place. And when Hushem died, Hadad, the son of Bedad, who attacked Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his place. And the name and the name of his city was Aveth. When Hadad died, Semla and Masrika reigned in his place. And when Semla died, Saul of Rhea, both by the river, reigned in his place. When Saul died, Baal, Hanan, the son of Akbar, reigned in his place. And when Baal Hanan, the son of son of Akbar, died, Hadar reigned in his place. And the, and the name of the city was Palu. His na wife's name was Ahit Mahitabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mizabhab. And these were the names, 
These were the names of the chiefs of Esau according to their families and their places and their, by their names, Chief Timna, Chief Alva, Chief J Jatheth, Chief Ahogabama, Chief Eli, Chief Pinyon, Chief Kinez, Chief Timon, Chief Mibzar, Chief Magdiel, and Chief Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom, according to their dwelling places and the land of their possession. Esau was the father of the Edomites. Okay, first Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 43 through 54. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 43 through 54. Now these were the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before a king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela the son of Beer, and the name of his city was Dinaba. And when Bela died, Jobab the son of Zerah of Basra reigned in his place. When Jobab died, Hushim of the land of the Temanites reigned in his place. And when Hushim died, Hadad the son of Bedad, who attacked Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his place. The name of his city was Avith. When Hadad died, Samla of Masrika reigned in his place. And when Samla died, Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his place. When Saul died, Baal Hanan, the son of Akbar reigned in his place. And when Baal Hanan died, Hadad reigned in his place. And the name of his city was Paul. His wife's name was Mehitabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mizahab. Hadad died also, and the chiefs of Edom were Chief Timna, Chief Elia, Chief Jatheth, Chief Aholabama, Chief Eli, Chief Pinna. Chief Kenev, Chief Timnin, Timon, Chief Mibsar, Chief Magdiel, and Chief Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom. Descendants of Israel. First Chronicles, the second chapter, verses 1 through 2. And then that will be it. These were the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishakar, Zebulon, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. May we receive this word with gladness, Lord, and um, let it grow thereby in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Father, now, guys, um, we're going. Let me see. Do we have time to do another? We may not have time to do another one. Let me look. Yeah, we may not have time to do another one. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, guys, we're going to do a, um, a, a, a request video right quick. Don't go away. <laughs> 